Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or a bucket plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion for one that you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below or the comments for those new people. And I will give you a shout out when I get to it like this week. It's actually brought to you by Dino Sars. Sars. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Anyway, it's the author of the plugin, if you guys haven't figured it out. He uh, asked me to do this since I did his uh, Cactus Crate plugin. This is kind of like a bigger version of that, which is it's really cool. It's, some, uh, it's got some GUIs, and I don't know. We'll get into it. Anyway, it also is brought to you by Zekify and the Gold Miner 1000. So thank you guys for suggesting this. This is for you guys, so be sure to share it out, and uh, hopefully it helps you. Anyway, like I was saying, this is kind of an expansion of Cactus Crates or a bigger version, or Cactus Crates is a small... I don't even know which way it goes, but anyway, it gives you quite a bit of options for supply crates. So you got, uh, or mystery, you know, you got supply crates, which means you always get something. You got mystery crates, which is like you have a risk of not getting anything. He has key crates involved in this, and then he's also got a menu of a GUI for it or GUI for, you know, non-Americans. Actually, I don't even know where that comes from, but anyway, um, graphical user interface for people who uh, get virtual uh crates and stuff where it's not like an actual item that you set down and you get stuff so it's kind of like an all-encompassing crate plugin it has all the different crate options for you which is really cool it does need vault because it does have a, a feature where you can purchase crates for money so be sure you you have vault if you want people to be able to buy crates so that is it for that let's get into um okay forgetting the commands okay here we go so let's get into the command so if you you can do cr list to see all the 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 crates that you have i renamed this up here um so then you can do cr give and then the username and then the crate so we're gonna go food and then the amount so we get one more food and then uh you can do a give all command which is kind of cool and then um and then we'll give a donator, although I don't know if why you'd want to give that to everybody so that you got that give all command and then you got a give key command and then username and then we're going to do uh, key two and there's key two, which is different from key one here. And then there's your donator crate and then you got a give all key, which I'm not really going to go. Okay. And then let's say... So the other thing that with this key is you need to set the location that this key will open. So we've already set this for key one. So we need to set this key two, but actually you can only set one key per block. So we need to, uh, we'll just uh, we'll just do this. CR set key two. There we go. So this is key one. So if we right click on this, we get, we get our stuff. And actually with how key one works is there's a possibility of you being able to use that key more than once, which I'll show you guys in the config. And then if we right click on there, I get a donator shovel. Whoa, that is, that's a crazy shovel. Bah! Okay, so anyway, <laughs> that is, that's a really nice shovel. Let's get that out of here. We don't need those anymore. So then here's the food chest. If you right click, you just got to set it on the ground and then you can open it up and you get all the stuff out of there and then that'll go away or it won't go away you actually get the chest which is kind of interesting so then we get the donator crate so we open that and then we get uh that pick so let's open another one and now we got a diamond axe, which is really nice. And then let's open up the food crate. There we go. We got more stuffs, the supply crates. So supply crate is like you open it up and then your items will be in there. And then you actually get the crate back, which is kind of cool. Um, where the mystery crates, they just, you set them down. They could be anything and uh, all that. All right. So then the last uh, crate option we have is a menu crate. So if we do, if we open up our menu, we have virtual crates here that are in this list and then you can click on it and it's going to tell you how many crates we have left. We have two. And then, uh, then you just click open crate and it's going to give you all of this stuff, which is nice. And then you can actually, if you go back in the menu, select that one, you have one crate left. So we're actually going to select this one, which 
is we have eight left and we can open that crate and we get a diamond axe and a diamond shovel which is awesome so that is pretty cool uh some of the permissions that you need oh toggle downfall actually i don't have oh well, sounds is up so anyway the permissions that are for this is uh the basic permission permissions are cr.create which i think is given by users by default then you have to give them cr.menu so they can open menus and then cr.info so they can see the info so another one they have is info um key one and they can look at the information for that crate and they could see if it, they could buy it and then they can if you want to buy a crate it's cr buy i think menu one and then the, how much so we actually got that even though we don't have any money but you know we're op so maybe that's what it allowed us to do and then you got cr.give cr.give all cr.give key cr.set cr.remove which is actually if you need to remove the key location you can look at the location go cr remove uh and then key oop, key one so that will remove the key from that location and then cr.list is uh, so they can see all of the keys in there. So let's get over to the config file and show you guys how this all works. Okay, so here we are in our server and you're gonna go into your plugins folder. You're gonna put your, cacti your create reloaded jar file in here and start your server, which is gonna create this folder. And then you're gonna have quite a few different options in here. The first one is the config file, which um, is actually kind of the base thing. You can change your prefix in here. Side note on this is with how the menu works is it shows, um, these at each side of it so if you make this name too long it's actually going to uh make that show up in the next line which is kind of a pain but you know just a side note for you there and then you can set out how your menu create menu looks like in the middle so uh item chest one and then uh, the amount that you have left and then open create display and then key create display key display all that stuff in there so you know and close that and then we actually got to open the crate menu for creating these crates which this is where everything kind of happens so the, how this works is this is the name of the crate and then this specifies the type now the types we already talked about we got a supply crate we got a mystery crate we got a menu crate which is kind of like a virtual crate basically it's going to show up in that menu and not in the physical bar and then you got your key crate which is going to be the keys that you got to open up on the different things <clears throat> so actually stay, taking a step back i forgot to talk about this so this color codes a little bit different than standard minecraft color codes i'll put a link in the jibbles below which will show you uh all the colors that you can have it's basically the same thing only with percent signs in the front and back there's also some of the uh other options of underline and bold and all that stuff so back to here sorry about that um so then we got the buy section which is fault you know we've enabled it where we've not enabled it and then you've set your cost and then here's the message on open it says to the player you have opened the food crate and then it doesn't broadcast to anything to anybody else which is a, that's to everybody else on the server and then here's the item name which is food chest and then the lore so if you don't if you don't specify an item type in here it's going to be the default chest type for the supply crate and then here's where you set the multiple rewards so every time somebody opens this up they're going to get anywhere between two and eight of each line of these lines now here's the item and then the the item type and then the amount and then here we go again we get two for this this line which is there and they're split up by commas so a couple things to note about this um always spaces here and then uh you're basically going to do type and then the the stuff so basically the item and then the number and then a comma and then on to the next thing so you can have item and then more more stuff you know um basically you have to follow this not necessarily this the sequence but 
each section of this has to follow this exactly or else it's not going to work. You can't have spaces after the commas. You have to have a colon here. So depending on what it is that needs to be done. So you have item colon. This was saying that you're going to give an item. You have the item name or the item ID and then the amount and then you have a comma and then the chance. So the way that the chance works is kind of interesting. What the chance does is it adds up all the uh, numbers for the chance reward. So this adds up to 100. So you have a 25% chance or a 25 in 100 or a 1 in 4 uh, chance of getting this line. And that's how it works. So this is kind of equal across all of them. We're going to take a look at this donator mystery crate. Now, the mystery crate doesn't it means that you won't always get an item, um, but you can give out items per line. So some of the options that you have for rewards, you see in the item, you see the chance, um, and then we have a command as well. So you can give anything you want to them, which is really cool. And then you have a broadcast option in here, which is really cool. But keep in mind, I mean, this, this line can be as long as you want, but you got to keep following the pre you know the uh the syntax of each thing so we can see that we have the item id we have by false we have um on open it doesn't send anything to the player but it broadcasts something to everybody and then you see that uh they have a chance of winning this which is going to command give the player a diamond sword donator sword and then um the options on that this is the options for the um enchantments on that so i'll give you a link in the gibbles to tell you what each one of those are but it's basically with the give command um and then uh, comma and then the chance and it's one in actually 21.5 so what you do for this is you're you're adding up one plus 1.5 plus two plus two plus one so if we wanted to make that a bigger number or we'd probably lower that so it's a less likely but then that does modify the overall chances so it's kind of an interesting chance system it adds up all of the the chances for each for each reward and then it divides that up and then you got your broadcast, which is going to send it to everybody. And then, um, yeah, so that's that section. That's for the donator uh, crate there. And now we're getting into the virtual crate. So you got your menu one and your menu two. Now these will show up only in the crate menu. Pretty much the same layout of that when they get in there. You got key enabled false, which we don't need uh, key if you had that enable the true then it would show up as a key create in the virtual menu that kind of makes sense this doesn't mean that it's a, a key so uh, once again you got your one in four chance here with that 25 as well and then if we scroll down we're going to take a look at the menu create two so that one is item bread and that one is item diamond so then we got the key two, which is kind of a bigger deal. The item is diamond. Once again, you have a chance of one and 21.5 um, of getting each one of these. So if you want to give out multiple items per line, so obviously or already this is a command um, chance broadcast. So if you wanted to give another item for this, you would come here all the way at the end after that. And then you're going to do, actually, let's do one that's more on the screen. So if we want to do that, your new comma and then you do item colon item id and then the amount so uh and that is all that you need so that's the stone and then that's the amount there and then now uh, we just have the uh colon there at the end which is really neat and then um if you, you got your commands all that stuff like i said so crazy the the possibilities of this are pretty endless you can modify this a lot i would think i would probably use just the the menu gui a lot instead of having the in-game commands i just i think the gui is really cool gives them an option of a place where they can have all their stuff uh, they can just kind of store up crates as well without having them in their inventory so that's all i got for you guys this week hopefully you guys found that helpful it's a really neat plugin um 
you know it's pretty early on in this plugin development so feel free to comment some suggestions for it or features you'd like to see on the author's page be sure to check it out in the jibbles and uh, give it a whirl it's really cool you can do a lot of stuff it's i just i like the options that you can put you can run any command you want and then um i like the option of like what the supply creates you can run multiple lines you have a possibility of running multiple lines and then I didn't talk about it, but you can set that same thing for the key crate. So you can have minimum and maximum uses for each crate, which you can see that in the config file for the key crate. So that's really cool. Anyways, hopefully you found that helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And be sure to come back next week. I'll be doing another tutorial. And uh, so this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Ha ha, duck and weave, <laughs> duck and weave. Hey, you better watch it. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. I am thankful for frying pans, potatoes, can't.